Okay, so that gifting bowl is back up. And still got three more to set up. I'm gonna just go up, up the hill here and fill them down into the musket. See what we can see. See if we hear anything. But anyway, as I was saying, I want to have a gifting bowl at each one of those locations so I can, you know, even if I can't, if I don't have, if I don't have the time to go and spend a lot of time back in there, I could, you know, make a quick trip and just leave them some, some gifts and stuff, right? I gotta remember this game trail coming back. Okay. I want to do something while I'm here. I just gotta remember where I was now. Where that was. I need to try to do a size comparison video. I gotta find the tree. Trees. That. What was that? Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, right here. Someone's here. One of them are here. Okay, this is where I want you to pay attention. Over there. Well, if you guys remember, there was a one of the Sasquatch. Oh, I can hear her walking. Hello? Big walking. See, one of them's here. One's here. Oh. I got it coming in two... Two directions. Oh, I'm holding my breath. I'm holding my breath. I can't do that. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'm not going over there. <laughs> right where my camera is? Last winter, there was still snow on the ground. And that was where that Bigfoot was. He was under that tree, on all fours, right there. Right there. And I was gonna go over there and crawl. Maybe I can. I'll still go. I'll go crawl. I want to try to do that size comparison while I'm here. Try it. I just kind of got creeped out because all of a sudden there's movement to my right and over here. Right over there. Okay. I'm just going to go crawl. I'm being silly. But we need to do this, right? I need to, I need to compare that video. I just, we'll do a little size comparison video. Keep your ears open, keep your eyes wide open. Oh 
my goodness, where are you? Well, I know, I'll know when I get over there. Okay, here I go. Okay. Oh. Lots of movement. I don't know if the camera was picking any of it up. Hopefully. That's this, that, times like these is when it would be nice to have that at the person, right? It have one working parabolic mic and thermals and <sighs> got a little bit of daylight left. Yeah, this is see, that's where I'm hearing. Yeah. And that crazy jet flying overhead. Yeah, I can hear. They stay back, quite a ways back without all the leaves. It's their nature. It's all good. It's it's okay.
I don't know. I'm crawling around over there in the muskeg to do that little bit of video or size comparison. We'll see how it turns out. That's where I was hearing walking, and then over here, I'll move my camera. Right over there. I gotta walk that way anyway, so. Thank you guys for all your nice and wonderful comments. And thanking Richard, Mr. Nuss. Yeah, see, we're, this is this is this is great because I'm two hours in, and I still got full battery power on this one. That's hard. I hold my breath so I can hear better. And I find myself only, by the time I'm out of these places a lot of times, I'm exhausted. In a good way, but exhausted because I'm not breathing. Correct? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna... I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll come back. My hands are starting to get cold. Okay, so walking, maybe two wood knocks, a whistle. Like I say, oh, there's two brakes new behind me. You see him? There's one. I'm going a little further. Just to my right of my cap. These are new. Okay. Hmm. That's one of the things I'd like to come do and just spend a day to uh, and do shoot film structures back there but I'll have to travel probably three miles not walking <laughs> not walking I'll come in film here in this area and then I got to go up about half a mile south walk back in and there's a whole new group of structures there okay well now like looking at my camera and it's still in the green it just feels that little bit of stress is gone right think thanks to Richard because a lot of times when things would pick up or activity would start I'd be having to leave right Yeah. 
hear the walking? Wow. Okay. Are behind you. <laughs> behind the camera. You know, somebody had mentioned cloaking. I, I do believe there is something to that. Um, like this, that head walking is heavy. And it's like, all, it's like, it's right here, right here behind us. And I can't see nothing. I don't know if the camera, maybe the camera's picking something up, I don't know. Again, I'll know when I get home. And look over. Okay, so. Walking, walking, walking. <laughs> all right, all you wonderful Bigfoot enthusiasts. Uh, I'm going to interject here for a few seconds and I need to do a little lead up to what you're about to see here. Like you've seen in the video here, I was hearing the footfalls behind me. I'm, I think the camera might have grabbed a foot stomp and but I, I could hear this thing walking, walking, walking. Not once could I see movement. But I'm going to zoom in on something back there in the trees. I don't know, it could be a stump that resembles a creature or this is part of the clan down at Seven Creeks. We've come onto other strangeness down there. This is a high level of a strange, right? This whole area, there's so much that goes on down there. And I'm just gonna put this out there. You guys can let me know what you think. Uh, we're gonna slow the video down too. I, I took this clip and I slowed it down for you all and watch the eyes moving. Watch the facial features change and uh, at the very end, I will put up the stills I was able to grab from this these few seconds of video. Pretty amazing. High level of strange. I, I knew there was something behind me where the camera's pointing. I just couldn't see it. But reviewing my video once I got it home, put it on the desktop. This is what I come on to. You guys all take care and we will see you in the trees. Stay tuned. Bye for now.
bye for now.